Next up on our hit list of let's finish the box in this review, just kidding. Do you guys have an espresso? Well, this might be the last Tissima you might ever own. So today guys, we're taking a look at the EN510BCA or EN510B. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, so you got your milk frother thingy that you can put in the fridge. You got this guy, I'm not sure if that's blue or I gotta rip something off, but kind of messed up if that's blue. I'm sure it's just a protective seal. <clears throat> but taking a look at this, that's the over top view, the front. Yeah, it's pretty compact. Like it's kind of like they took the best of everything and kind of made it a little bit more, um, you know, simplified. So you have your little window here. You just switch like this. And let's just see the cord. So the cord underneath can kind of go through the rat race. Okay, and then this is your disposal bin for your cup. So you can kind of fit a couple in there. Um, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven. All right, and then they do give you some pods because they want, they want you to try them out so they can kind of get you hooked. And that's how businesses have typically worked. And then all these companies put additives in them to get you addicted. And uh, did you guys know that the world's most popular uh, exported medicine in the world is caffeine or coffee? Kind of crazy. All right, so I just plugged it in. Let's, um, let's turn it on. How do you turn this guy on? Doo -doo. He needs something more than that. You have a hard switch or something? Come on. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so let's add some water next. Alright, so I got your drip filled. Oh, not too high so it doesn't spill like all my other coffee review videos. Alright, so now you're in. And what do you got here? That's like, a, I guess, a foam on top. Uh, clean descaling, big cup, little cup. So it's kind of like a simplified version of all of their stuff. Just take off this tape. Tape. In order to remove this, you gotta remove this. Ooh, what do you guys think this is? Metal or plastic? I can't tell if it's like an aluminum or plastic, hard plastic. They make this stuff so good now, you can't tell. Let's do the drop. That's kind of, yeah, that made the grill noise. Like, I'm a grill. Oh yeah, you hear the reverb in that? So that's uh, like an aluminum or something really uh, lightweight. And then this thing, this is just kind of ridiculous. Oh yeah, you can kind of tell. Yeah, they wouldn't do that blue. I was just, it's just, it's on so nice to protect it that you can't even tell that it's a film. Oh yeah. Take off your greasy cheeseburger. Does it have a way? Right, so that's for your, your drip drip. You don't have to use that. Uh, sorry, not that. That's for your little cups. You know, for your espresso cups. Because uh, it's like, you know, the coffee equivalent of a shot glass, right? So, I don't know. Which one should we do, guys? Let's, like, I'm a coffee drinker. Like Tim Hortons and, you know, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee for American equivalents. Or we got Tim's in the U.S. now, but it's not the same. Not the same. Um, let's just go for... Okay, Master Origins Lungo Espresso barista creations that's like the extra that they had on the counter that they just swipe in right <laughs> yeah the uh the the chef's special <laughs> all right let's just do a lungo because i don't think any of these are coffee 
Yeah, these are just kind of more like the espresso ones. Um, because, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. This thing doesn't make coffee. It makes, um, you know, espresso and lungo, like these ones here. So, lungo, are you in this category? Will you say on the top? Ethiopia. Can't tell. Did I miss it? Right there, yeah. So that's Master Origins. That's any cup size, right? Okay, so fine, we'll do that. We'll do a long go on that. So the thing about what the Latissima, I have another Latissima um, review in there, and it's got this guy here. This is kind of more like a simplified version. Maybe it's a better machine, but it's kind of lacking some of the features. But essentially, yeah, it doesn't make coffee. So if you're looking for some kind of coffee experience, you would do a, like a Lungo uh, cup, maybe two, and then add your milk or whatever you want. But uh, yeah, it's more of like a, um, a shot of coffee. So here's your um, milk frother guy. So you're gonna wanna fill up to whatever you're comfortable. And uh, when you're done with it, it's kind of cool because it's got this little window here with like a trap door. You can go like, see you later. And then you basically put it in the fridge. But you know, if you're installing, you go to chunk and then you kind of point this over here. And if you got your little um, podium here, <laughs> that's a perfect name for this, the podium. Um, then you have your little tiny, um, I just have a little bit of a coffee today right here um, or if you're gonna have a longer you have a big bigger cup here and hopefully this thing will shoot right into it but we all know how things aim these days whatever that means okie dokie let's be very careful and drop in our lungo in you go you got stabbed i think now we're gonna do the lungo button How's that ad placement for the gap? Drip drip? All right, so that's kind of what we got from it. You know, little tiny lungo, whatever that means. I'm just gonna add my milk normally because I'm more of a latte guy, but I don't like my milk heated. Let's have a sip. Yeah, it's good. It's There's no bitterness. Um, it does taste like it's intended. And I didn't run any water through the machine. Like, you're supposed to run a couple different ones through it just to lube up the parts. Yeah, so pretty good. Let's try out the Mr. Milky. So button there. Let's give her a, let's give her a max. Okay. I'm gonna put on Mr. Thirsty there. Whoop. Whoop. That's it. Come on. No, you're backwards. That's cool with me. They make it <clears throat> idiot proof, so it's me proof. So you can only put on the lid one way. So you seem to be on. All right. So you're on. We're gonna do this, okay? Now let's, well, the pod drops down there. And now we're gonna take, next up on our hit list of let's finish the box in this review, just kidding, um, <clears throat> is, let's do another Lungo. Actually, let's do an Espresso. This one here is 
Let me see. Caprizio. No, this is a long go. That's fine. So this is four. I guess it's this one. So let's drop your pop in. You got stabbed. Okay, you'll notice here that the button here starts lighting up too because I believe that's because it's like warm in it or something, but we're gonna do the coffee part first. Next up, we're gonna hit this guy. Hopefully it's ready for action. So obviously when you fill this thing up, it's gonna drain as much as I can until you turn it off. Um, much too much for me, but as you can see, the result is glorious. So I hope you guys liked that quick look unboxing review. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you use that link, I think I get about $20 for everyone that's bought. So yeah, maybe I'll send you back 10. Just let me know your email. No, I'm just, well, I'm actually not kidding. Let's work together as a team. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants a cut of the share for the coffee machine, let me know. And I uh, hope you all have a fantastic day.